Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do a real quick video on how I've got my uh, my Panoptix LiveScope LVS34 transducer mounted to my trolling motor. Now there's generally two different ways that you can mount the, this transducer or the LVS32 or really any of those, those uh, Panoptix transducers to your trolling motor. The most I would say the most popular way, or at least the, the most um, uh, common way to mount it is with the bracket on the, the shaft of the troll motor. So you'd, you'd use that, that mounting bracket and it would go about right here. But I've got it on the barrel of the troll motor. And this has been by far my favorite uh, way to, uh, to run this, this, uh, this transducer. Uh, number one, out of necessity, because uh, I've got the uh, um, the 360 mount, and it's just there's just too much clutter going on here, and it just doesn't work with the 360. Um, but in reality, the four years that I've been running it off the barrel of the trolling motor, it's worked out really, really well. Um, I have not, you know, most people that I've talked to that asked me about this, their main concern with doing it off the troll motor barrel is the fact that, um, you know, it may be more susceptible to damage from like hitting stumps and stuff like that. All I can say is I haven't had any issues at all with durability um i have not you know i've and i'm using this this troll motor just like anybody else is i'm i'm running it through some pretty um you know some pretty savage shallow water uh, cover and structure and uh, i really haven't had any issues at all i haven't broken any of these these mounts i did over tighten one and and kind of uh, broke the the mount but um haven't broken any from actual like you know hitting any type of structure or cover or anything like that the only thing i will say is fishing grass it does catch a lot but even if you're using the uh the um the one on the shaft it would still catch a lot of cover especially if you got floating you know vegetation over here or if it's matted out to the surface but obviously if the grass isn't matted out and and your your trolling motor is actually going through the grass this is going to catch a little bit more but Overall, I feel like I've I've had really great success with the uh, trolling motor um, barrel mounting option, and as you can see, I kind of use the same uh, you know tie for for um, uh, mounting the uh, the 2D sonar transducer on there as well, and uh, and I've done the same thing with like the hydrowave. I don't have one on this boat, but I've put the hydrowave unit you know using the the same exact tie uh for that but anyways guys that is how i mount my lvs 34 transducer and that's how i mounted the lvs 32 and i absolutely love it i think it, it works really good so if you guys are wondering if it does work well on the trail and motor barrel i can tell you from four years of experience uh, using it that way fishing the tour it works very well. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or you, you know, you want me to do a video about a certain topic, make sure you drop a comment below and I'm going to see you guys out on the water.